Hello Create Studio user. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a transporter beam effect like the following in Create Studio 3. Let's play this. Okay, first I have to say this costs a little bit of RAM. So if your settings are low of your PC or Mac, uh, you can get into trouble, uh, but try it. The next thing is as a freebie, you will get uh, this project file, but without the sound effect. Okay, let's begin. I go for a new project. Look for a background. Go here with spaceship. Take here spaceship 2. Bring it on the timeline. And I want this a little bit darker because then you see the particle effect better. Therefore I go here with the brightness to minus 10. Next thing is I go for character of the 3D creator with Tom. I have here a preset this will, that will fit. Okay, I take him a little down here so that it snaps here to the bottom. Idle is okay as the first action and as the second action I go with wave. The length of the first action um, I have to go with the sound effect. So if your sound effect is longer you have to go longer with the first action and I have my sound effect here in my scenes. Bring it on the timeline and let's ungroup it. And in this case I go with the idle action to 5 seconds. And so I have to enlarge the duration of the background image. And Okay, now I go with a track below the sound effect for the first particle effect. There I go to effects and components, to components and particles. The length is okay. Uh, we only need uh, in this case 4 seconds and 10 frames. This is up to here because here the sound effect ends. Uh, but first let's customize the particle effect. With the count I go to the maximum. This is 1000. With the size I go to 1. The color is okay for me and then I will enable all the features of the effect. Rotation is enabled. I enable pulsation, swinging and also blinking. The speed is okay. So I can go with a shape. There are a few possibilities you can take as a shape. This is the circle. This is also this arc here. This is also okay. Um, I have also a custom shape. Uh, something like this will work great for this. But uh, for a custom shape you have to replace an existing shape. So to make it easy 
Let's go with the ear gear, not ear gear icon. This is this one. And because later we make a blur on it, it looks a little bit like the shape I showed you before, the ring shape. Then let's go to the properties. I want to scale it a little down the x value with 40. And let's bring this a little down here to the head and up to the boots. Okay. Now we need um, duplicates of it. And this is what the RAM costs, <laughs> uh, what makes the, the PC or the Mac then uh, slower. Uh, but let's begin with the first duplicate. Here I go with shuffle. Let's go also with another size. Let's go with one point. Let's go with one point two. Make another duplicate. Shuffle. Uh, let's go zero point nine so that we have little variation. Duplicate, shuffle, say 1.1. 1. 1. And now let's group this four. and duplicate this again. And here go to the properties and let's flip this horizontal so you see that you get more of them. Nice. Let's group this again, this two again. And here you see when I play this, let's go with the F key. The direction is down. Uh, before I let's hide the sound effect. I want the direction of the particles up. So I go to properties and flip this vertical. So now the particles go up. You see? Nice. Okay, let's rename this block. Call it particles. And what we now need is uh, track mat or mask and therefore I have to duplicate Tom and let's bring the duplicate above the particles. We don't have to do this but I do this and rename it in this case to Tom track mat. And now let's group, no, not group this. Uh, let's first go for the track mat, select particles, properties track mat, mask, tom track mat, and alpha. So now I have this particles on Tom. What I forgot is to go with a blur for the particles. Go to effects, blur, and here I go with a strength. Let's try four. So let's 
so you don't see this gear icon it looks like a ring nice and now let's group them uh, before uh, I think I have said it before uh, we go with the uh, particles effect we go here four seconds and ten frames keep this in mind if your sound effect is longer you have to go longer as I said before but let's group it and rename it Tom with particles and I want the particles fade in stay a little bit and then fade out so I go into the group and go here with a custom animation on the particles opacity easing linear and let's make this fade in about a second so I go here and go here down with the opacity to zero then as I said before four seconds ten frames is the end of the particles animation so I add here an linear and opacity custom animation let's bring this to the left and I want this fade out also one second when I'm here on 410 I have to go to 310 and let's go at the end and here we go with the opacity to zero <coughs> so when I now go back to the main timeline I have here the start of the particles then they stay and here they fade away nice what we now need is a, another track mat for the particles because I want them to begin on his chest on Tom's chest and then goes over to the boots and to the head so I add another track below the sound fx and here I go with a circle I go with the scale of 10 let's go with white color this is up to me it's a other colors are also okay I bring them here over the logo and add a blur with let's say let's try 20 okay let's go higher let's go with 40 okay and this should also have an animation um, so we go with a custom animation position and scale four point ten is the length of the particle animation uh, I want this to go in until the the middle of the animation which is then 2.5 2 seconds and 5 frames this is here and 
and I add another position and scale animation and go to 4.10 4 seconds 10 frames okay with the first one I go with an easing because I want this to begin fast and to and slow the first animation so I go with the easing of out soft and the second one I want to begin slow and to end slow so I go here with the second one with in out soft with the scale I go here to let's try 100 okay nice and let's go a little bit down in the original TV series the boots are not much affected from the particle effect and also the top of the head is not much affected from the particle effect I think something like this is nice so let's see this begins and goes like this and goes back again okay let's now rename this this is circle particles track mat and go to Tom with particles and track mat circle particle track mat and alpha okay now we have something like this particles come in go through the whole body and goes back okay the only thing we now need or we need is an opacity animation of Tom therefore uh, let's begin with 10 frames I don't want to begin with uh, zero because it takes a little bit for the particles to go to the boots and when I begin with zero the boots are there or, the, or much there before the particles are there so I go with 10 frames and go with a custom opacity animation easing I go with in soft because I want to begin this slowly and here I go to the end of the particle animation with the second keyframe this is at 4 seconds 10 again I go with the keyframe to this position here is 100 here is the beginning with 0 properties opacity 0 okay let's play this nice so I don't want that this all begins with zero uh, so I bring this a little bit to the right let's say here to 10 frames 
the sound effect, the particles and Tom, the background should begin with zero. Uh, okay, I go with Control or Command and click. This is sometimes... You have to know I have eight particle effects here, so uh, this is um, sometimes a problem then with the CPU or with the RAM. And if I go here to the right, I have to go with the background also to the length of the the other things. Let's now play it. Nice. Okay. And now let's enable the sound effect. Go here a little down with the volume, let's say something 80. Bring this down. F key and now let's play it. Let's go to high and play it. <laughs> nice i like it and i hope this will help you thank you and goodbye